45 years ago, a tree farmer from a small town in northern Michigan had an epiphany. When David Millark witnessed the devastated remains of a grove of majestic redwoods logged off along California's Pacific coast, he saw the symptom of an epidemic. Trees, part of the planet's vital natural filter system to our water and our air, were being cut down at an alarming rate to become commodity products. He began a life's journey to replant what was being taken away. Along the way, he formed Champion Tree Project to bring attention to the importance of trees by working to clone America's largest, oldest, and most historically significant trees. But when funding ran short, Champion Tree Project closed its doors. The unrelenting threat of climate change was entering the public discourse. Complex schemes to save humanity were being debated. But the simple and potentially effective idea of replacing the natural filter system to our water and our air that only trees can provide was being overlooked. Then, David Millark met data communications entrepreneur Leslie Lee, who shared the vision that trees can provide the tools to solve some of our most daunting environmental threats. In 2008, they co-founded the new nonprofit, Archangel Ancient Tree Archive. This new organization and its vision attracted a world-class team of experts, including Bill Libby, Diana Beresford Kroger, as well as the country's leading tree explorers and climbers, propagators and nurserymen. Their unique mission? To propagate, archive, and plant the genetics of environmentally important and iconic old-growth trees. Collecting from old-growth trees taps into their proven genetic endurance. Cloning these trees before they die and disappear ensures that they can survive for study and use by future generations. The hundreds of trees successfully propagated by the Ancient Tree Archive include some of the most environmentally beneficial and iconic trees on Earth, including many of Ireland's ancient oaks. The Black Willow, the best tree to clean fresh water and restore watersheds and two of the best non-invasive species to make the greatest positive impact on climate change. Coast redwood and giant sequoia's ability to remove and store carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, is unmatched in the plant kingdom and has no rival in man-made engineering. The scientific community at large said cloning giant sequoias more than 80 years old could not be done, but the team at Archangel is beginning to find success in propagating perhaps the world's most important trees. The largest coast redwood trees that ever once lived before being chopped down well over a century ago left a genetic code in their long forgotten stumps. These great old trees are finding new life at the Archangel Experimental Nursery as new growth. Despite the lack of financial support found at universities and major corporations, the archive's tremendous effort, resourcefulness, and passion for the mission has begun to yield real results. They have just now achieved the near impossible and have successfully cloned a 3,000-year-old giant sequoia. Their work to save these globally important trees has been recognized by media worldwide. Some of the most impressive and important of all trees have now been thrown a lifeline. The chance to live on in living archives around the world. And in new old growth forests where they can release oxygen and sequester carbon from our atmosphere and be studied by future generations. 45 years have passed. Thanks to the work of Archangel Ancient Tree Archive, the journey that began on the shores of the Pacific Ocean is not only coming full circle for David Millark, but for the others who see the need and share the passion. Trees are a lifeline to our future well being on planet Earth. The work of Archangel Ancient Tree Archive must continue for all of us. Archangel Ancient Tree Archive is excited for the opportunity to improve our planet in such a meaningful way and excited for you to be a part of it. Call our office or visit our website and be an angel to Earth.